Good morning vlog! Welcome back to a new video. My name is Erica. Today it's just pretty much a follow me vlog. My everyday kind of routine. And sort of like a pregnancy update I guess because I haven't been very active with updating you guys on this pregnancy. Currently I am 38 weeks and two days pregnant still. We still have the belly going. Not much has really changed. I am two and a half centimeters dilated and 50% effaced. So no. she could honestly come at any hi, time. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hi, Bob. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We're on baby watch, but not really because I can go from like a two to a five Mama. randomly. Yes, baby. Wow, yummy eggs. Open. So, that's where we're at right now. Look! I am look, having look, a mama. lot of lightning crotch. Look, yes, baby. Mama. What? Look. Oh, the blue. The blue egg. Oh, yummy egg. I'm having a lot of lightning crotch and Braxton Hicks contractions, <laughs> which is normal. But I'm so uncomfortable when I sleep. I can't get any good sleep at night. So I sleep a lot during the day. I'll take like two naps in the day. I'll take one in the morning and one during Kylan's actual nap time. But for right now, I'm gonna make some breakfast, get some other things ready, and yeah. So I've been doing the whole raspberry leaf tea and pineapples and dates since 34, 35 weeks pregnant. I've pretty much been doing that. Not necessarily to induce labor because it, those things don't even induce labor. They just help prepare your body for labor. So I've been doing that. I've been listening to a lot of hypnobirthing videos. Not because I'm necessarily gonna use the hypnobirthing method but the videos are very, very helpful. So I've been listening to those. What else have I been doing? I haven't done the evening prim primrose oil because I'm like a little skeptical of it. I haven't done the castor oil one either because I don't want to be pooping myself the whole time. But I've been doing that. I've been doing uh, spinning babies because she was posture. I believe she was like sunny side up, but now she's facing my back. So she's good now. Uh, what else? Some big stretches. I've been doing the mile circuit. I heard that can induce labor, but I don't think it really does induce labor. I think it just helps get the baby in like the most optimal position. So I've been doing that uh, and resting a lot because I did some research that said that um, when the baby's ready to come, it releases a hormone, I think it's oxytocin, oxytocin, the happy hormone. Um, so you can't get that hormone if you're like running around stressed and doing a bunch of frantic stuff. So I'm really focusing on rest. If I need a nap, I nap, <clears throat> no matter what. The dishes will come later and all that stuff but I've been resting a lot, just trying as much to rest. Because being on my feet and being overly active, I don't think for me it would work. Especially since last time <clears throat> when I delivered Kylan, I really didn't even like dilate too much until I was put on the epidural and I was able to relax my body and sleep. That's when I dilated the most, honestly. Uh, and I think that's how I am as a person too. I don't do well when I'm really stressed. My lovely scrumptious breakfast. Three scrambled eggs, some toast, and some coffee. I don't drink coffee every day. It's just, I need it today. I love the taste of coffee. Normally I have it in an omelet, but we don't have bacon, so. But before I drink my coffee, I always take obviously my medication and I have a whole bottle of water. This is my um, second bottle of water for the day. I don't remember if we updated the vlog or not, but Kylan got 
a big boy bed. He has a twin bed. My parents gifted him a twin bed from Ikea. And it's so cute. And it goes with this whole little jungle vibe. And it comes with under the bed like drawers. So I've moved all of his basic clothes to the drawers underneath to make more space in the closet since him and Ariella are going to be sharing a closet. Also, <laughs> I wanted to mention how I leaked the baby's name in the last video because I just forget. I just be forgetting. I have mom brain. I just explained what mom brain is to Pat yesterday. And yeah, I just feel stupid. But her name is Ariella. Ariella Bridget for my grandma. My my grandmother's name is Brigida. So in English it would be like Bridget. So it's Ariella Bridget Dodd. But uh, I was just like, uh, boing. Like how did I not? I said it like twice I think. Who does that? Take it out. I just finished my breakfast. I do like to have breakfast. Here you go, baby. I like to have breakfast in Kylan's room on the days that I don't eat breakfast with him. Just so he feels welcome to play in his room sometimes. Like sometimes he needs me to sit with him in his room and watch him play a little bit and then I leave the room and he's fine with independent, independently playing with his toys by himself in the room. So I have my breakfast in here and we chill for a bit. And then I go about and do my regular routine, which today, let me check my notes. Instead of doing laundry once a week, which is what I used to do, I would have like one laundry day and do a massive amount of laundry that whole day. Multiple loads, folding, and like, I wouldn't ever get to the step of putting it away. I would just wash it run the next load, dry it, and all that stuff, and then pile up all the clean clothes and not actually put it away. So instead, I do one small load a day. Today, oh, today I don't have any laundry to do. Poo-poo. I told you you poo-pooed. Can we go change your diaper? Can we go change your diaper? Okay. Okay. We're on a walk now. Kind of say hi. Hi. Yeah. Just trying to get this baby out. <laughs> While I still remember, I did want to show you guys what is in my hospital bag really quickly because. <laughs> I could be going into labor at any point and I still haven't finished um, this video. So, I did mention in the last video that I wasn't gonna use this bag or I didn't think I was gonna use this bag as my hospital bag, but I'm honestly not bringing that much things, so everything ended up fitting better in this bag than in the backpack that I was gonna bring. This bag is in our Amazon storefront, so if you're interested, the link will be in the description down below if you are interested in this bag. It's so cool, and I discovered a lot more new features on it, like the fact that it has like a tissue thing here for you to pull out tissues or wipes or whatever. I didn't know that. So I'm keeping it minimal this time. I'm trying to, at least. The hospital provided everything for Kylan, diapers, wipes, um, ointments, Anything that I could think of, formula if I needed it, all of that sort of th stuff. So I'm not bringing anything like that for Ariella, especially because I'm not a picky person. I don't have a particular brand that I prefer. I just take what I can get, you know? And they provide a lot of the postpartum things for women, like the Perry bottle. I don't have the fancy, like, Freedom Mom Baby one. The one that the hospital gave me worked fine for me, so I'm gonna stick with that. They give the witch hazel pads, they give the disposable underwears. Um, what else? They give a lot more things. Oh, ice packs, like cooling packs for your Rajou. So, I'm just gonna keep it like that. So this is what the inside looks like. Hold up. The glare. This is what the inside looks like. Everything is nice and organized. So we'll go into the innards first. So for baby girl, 
I have a onesie. This is a dinosaur onesie. It's so cute. I think this is going to be her going home onesie. Just because it's dinosaur and Kylan loves dinosaur. And this is in a newborn size. So hopefully it'll fit her. I remember Kylan, when we brought him back, he was in a preemie size. But she supposedly is a little bit bigger than Kylan. And it has the hand thing, so it's one less item to worry about. I'm hoping this might be her going home outfit, but we'll see. And then I packed her an extra pair of socks to go with that. And then I have another outfit, <clears throat> also in a newborn size. So cute, little flowers. And these don't have the mitten things, so I do have to pack um, a pair of mittens, and it comes with a hat, and an extra pair of socks. And then these are the Hanes onesies. I love these onesies. They're so, so soft and stretchy. This is in the zero to three, no. Yeah, zero to three, but they look really small. Like I compared it to a newborn size and it, it matched up. So I'm packing this to wear underneath the going home outfit because it's gonna be kind of cold. So that's that for baby girl. And then I packed just one swaddle. And it's honestly mainly for pictures. That's the only reason why I'm packing it. Um, the hospital does provide you the typical hospital standard swaddle ones. And I think they're so cute. And they gave me so many last time when I was there with Kylan. So I'm probably gonna have her swaddled in that, in the hospital one while we're in the hospital. And it's also honestly less laundry for me to do, okay? Um, I'm not packing any burp cloths because I can use that same hospital one as a birth cloth when I'm there. I am packing a binky. This is my favorite kind of binky. Oh, the sun is not sunning right now. There you go. Binky, so cute. This is the Itsy Ritzy Binky. I like Itsy Ritzy and Ryan Rose, I believe. It's a Target brand. So that's that for baby girl. Yeah, that's literally all I'm packing for baby girl. That's it, that's all she needs. Next, for myself, I have my toiletry bag. And in here, I have my face cream and my conditioner because the hospital does give you a typical shampoo conditioner, but they're not that good, you know. I have my shampoo, which I label them at the bottom, and my face wash, which this is also the same face wash that Pat uses, so. Um, Pat's body wash, my body wash, some toothpaste. The hospital did provide me with toothpaste and like a toothbrush, um, but I'm just, I just have that. A couple of hair ties for labor. And some toothpicks. So that's that for my toiletries. I also still have to put in a hairbrush, but I wanna get like a travel size hairbrush um, and a comb because I learned that you can use a comb in your hand like that as like a pressure point to relieve um, pain during the transition phase of labor. We're gonna try that. And then I said I, I didn't wear diapers last time, like Depends. I didn't wear like the typical Depends diapers last time with Kylan. But this time I'm gonna give them a try. I'm only packing one. This is a, this is a diaper, y'all. This is a diaper, okay? I'm only packing one in this bag, and that's mainly because this bag is going into our car. And I need to have one of these, like in case my water breaks out of nowhere, like we're driving around or eating out or something and my water breaks, I wanna have a diaper in my bag for myself just in case, you know what I mean? But I am gonna be using the hospital stuff that they provide while I'm in the hospital, cause like why not, why wouldn't I, the pet? 
Okay, and that's it for the inside. Next, oh, I have this case from, what's it called? Oh, why is it not focusing? Oh, Anna Luisa. And it's just to hold my jewelry while I'm in labor, like if I have my ring on or like my earrings or my necklace to store it in here so it doesn't get ruined or lost, because that would be tragic. Okay, on the outside pocket, it has this pocket, which you can put like your wallet or your phone. I stuck a pair of slippers in there, some nice slippers while I'm at the hospital. And I'm also bringing a pair of flip-flops for the shower, because they do really need or crave a shower after delivering a baby, you know? So on the outside pocket here, I put things that I might need either during labor or just easily accessible items. So, let's open her up. First things first, I have this anchor, it's a portable charger for my phone and a charger thing because I do see that people pack like an extension cord and I don't know how comfortable I am about, about packing an extension cord because there's already so many things going on in the hospital bed like with my IVs and all of that stuff. I don't want to add another thing. So this is just like out of the way. <laughs> so that's that, that's like the first most important thing, I have some headphones. I don't think I'm gonna be using these, honestly. But I am having Pat pack, Pat pack his AirPods or his other set of headphones. I just have this in here just in case. Deodorant, deodorant, because your girl, your girl be sweating, okay? You know, hormones. So this needs to be right on deck. And then, some hand lotion. Hospitals are really dry. Like they're really dry and sterile, obviously. So I gotta have some lotion on deck. Ain't no one wants some dry hands. Ariella does not want me all up on her with some dry hands, with some crusty dusty hand. Okay. Uh, and then I have a lip balm as well. And then grippy socks. So the hospital does give you grippy socks, but they never fit me. They're always super, super loose. I have these from Old Navy that have grippies on them and they're really comfortable. So I have this in the outside pocket just so it's easy for like Pat to grab things too because obviously I won't be able to like get up and out of bed immediately. So I can just be like, hey, it's on the outside pocket, my grippy socks. That's that. Spooky dooky or chooky. And then my clothes, okay? I know some people typically do like to pack their own labor and delivery gown, and I get it, and I would do that. But thinking about it, I'm like, that's like just another article of clothing that I need to wash, that I need to pack, that I need to wash, and all that stuff. It's gonna get ruined with the blood. I would do it, but I'm, no, I'm not gonna do it. So I am just gonna labor in the gown that the hospital provides me in. But once everything is good and clean and I can shower, I do have my pajama packed. Just a simple flowy tank top with some flowy shorts, okay? Just something simple because I get really hot really easily so I don't want anything long sleeves. I don't want anything that's gonna be like too constricting and I can still easily breastfeed in that. To go along with that, obviously, a nursing bra. Um, I'm packing another nursing bra just in case. Uh, na, 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 na. Socks. And comfortable underwear that like goes up, like the granny panties, the granny panties, okay? That, and then I haven't packed my going home outfit yet, just cause I have my eye on one that I kinda might wanna order, but I don't know yet. So, 
that's that. But it'll if I don't end up ordering that going home outfit, I will more than likely just get a pair of sweatpants and a comfy loose t-shirt because it is cold here. There's no reason to be dressing up fancy, okay? I'm just coming home. And then I have some breast pads for leakage. I don't think I will need them because I don't remember leaking so much after, like immediately after I delivered the baby last time. But just in case, these are the reusable ones. Anything that I talked about also is linked in our Amazon storefront. So check that out if you're interested in anything. Um, yeah. Lastly, I have this bag, okay? And this is to take the things that the hospital gives you, okay? Because there's like, like these drawers where they have a bunch of diapers and wipes and they tell you before you leave like, hey, empty it out, take everything that you can. And they give you a bunch of like baby blankets and stuff like that. So this is to pack that stuff. But in here I have a robe, a nice soft fuzzy robe. have a robe to keep me warm and I have her baby blanket and that's pretty much it obviously I have like my wallet with my insurance and all that stuff handled but yeah that's all I am packing that's all I really need and if for whatever reason I do need something else my parents can bring it to me Pat can bring it to me it's not too big of a deal to me Last time, I did bring my breast pump, and a lot of people were like, why would you do that? Like, the hospital does provide you with one, which they do. Hi, Kylan. Hi, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Do you want pasta? Huh? Cookie. You want a cookie? Cookie. Okay, can you wait for me on the couch, and I'll give you a cookie? Mm -hmm. okay. um, people were saying, like, uh, why would you bring a breast pump? The hospital does provide you with one if you need one, but... I don't regret it because when the lactation consultant came in to check on me how the baby's latching, she taught me about the different size flanges, I believe is what the breast pump is called, the pump, the part that actually goes onto your um, nipple. Mama cookie. I'll be there in five minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes. Yes, two minutes. Wait for me on the couch, okay? Wait So, that's something to keep in mind is when you see the lactation consultant, you can ask her about that because the flanges that I had that came with my pump didn't necessarily help my breastfeeding pumping journey. And I ended up ordering a different size, which was very beneficial to me. So you can do that. I don't have to do that this time. Um, but yeah, that's everything in my hospital bag. And if you're interested again, it is linked in our Amazon storefront, okay? Uh, and also let me know what I'm missing. I think a couple things that I might, I have a list on my phone, but a couple things that I might wanna get is peppermint essential oil and lavender essential oil to kind of sniff throughout labor. And that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna go make my toddler some food now because he's hungry. I'm about to curl my hair and then I wanna take some pictures with my bump because I don't have many pictures with my bump honestly this time around i haven't taken that many pictures and i think that's just because of my anxiety from the miscarriage that i've just been very skeptical of things and worrying constantly and i just want the pregnancy to go by kind of quickly and it's somewhat a bad thing because I don't want to rush, obviously, but I'm just so paranoid that something could happen at any point in time. So, I want to take the time right now while I still can to get a little bit decent and take some pictures. So I'm gonna do that. I have a little snack to hold me by. Apples and peanut butter is my favorite. Granny Smith apples and peanut butter. Kylan's napping right now, well, He's in bed, I should say, and he should be falling asleep soon. And once he's asleep and I have these pictures done, I'm gonna take a nap as well. Really quickly, I wanted to show you guys my bump. 
it's it's insane okay hold up So this is my bump right now. Hi, hold up. This is my bump right now. I look huge, like an alien. It's so big and my stretch marks are insane. Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, like I will deal with it, it's honestly fine. But it's just crazy, like just to see it because I never got like this with Kylan. So it's insane. Like these ones and this and it's just crazy. I look like a watermelon. <laughs> like <laughs> I literally look like a watermelon. It's just crazy because people say like that stretch marks are genetic. And I can I believe that to a certain extent, but for example, my mom did not have stretch marks with either of her pregnancies and she brags about it all the time. Um and I'm like, "Well, I had with both my pregnancies I had stretch marks, different kinds of stretch marks." But that could also just be because I'm not a normal human size. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and I've already tried everything that you can think of as far as like treatments and lotions and oils and stuff like that, bio oil and everything like that. And it's not really gonna do anything for me. It's really itchy too. That's pretty much it, I think, for this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and got a little bit of insight on what we've been up to. I will try to vlog a little bit more. I should, honestly. I don't know why I don't, but I will try. We are very active on our TikTok, though, so you guys should take a little look over there if you're missing out or anything like that. Pat does these amazing mini vlogs on our TikTok, so if you want, you can go check those out. And those are more like what we do throughout this whole time that we're not on YouTube. So you guys should look at that but aside from that i hope that everyone is staying happy and healthy and until next time 